Welcome to Road CC. We've used Ribble's Bike Builder to build me an R872, and very well it's gone too. Excellent, that's good news. And now we're going to have another go on the Bike Builder. Uh huh. And I've got the spokes of uh, spokes of luck and joy <laughs> in my hand. So yeah, pick the nipple and you're the winner. Oh. <laughs> what a contest! What a contest! Um, Liam, as the youngest, you can go first, which means you get the get the worst odds. That seems fair. Thought you were being <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Defies the odds, yeah, don't they? Enough. Right. Okay, you're going to go for it then. Yeah. It's going to be your turn. So Matt wanted a commuting bike. I want a sportive bike because I've got a sportive coming up. It's my first one for ages and ages. Um, but yeah, I've got race bikes. I'd like something a bit more relaxed for doing some sportives. Okay, brilliant. Well, let's delve into the old uh, bike builder and see what we can find yeah. for you then, shall we? Right, well, Liam, you can't have an R872 because Matt's already had one of those. Gone. Mm. That, li that leaves you some other options. Can I tempt you to a nice steel endurance 725? You know me, I'm all about the lightweight. I, do. I knew you were going to say no to that. Sportives have climbs on, that's carbon for me. Okay, so probably the best bet for you is something like um, the Endurance SL. So first decision, colour, what are you thinking? <laughs> this is a big decision. It's actually the main decision. <laughs> it's a huge decision. Yeah. I like the original colour. I've, I've gone into their custom colour chooser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chooser. Yeah. And there's loads. So you can pick the paint finish, which glitter. glitter. Wow. You can't you can't uh, two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds of glitter. <laughs> oh but I could That's a lot on top of your twenty five pound uh, sport team entry, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe not go there. I don't think you can rock glitter, Liam. I'm sorry. I really do like the kind of stock option. Um, so that's like a glossy black and then it's got a bit of kind of road CC yeah. blue in there and a little it bit of It looks grey. smart, it matches my kit. Well, which okay. well, if it matches your kit then you're halfway there aren't you? Tidy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Go back to the customiser. Let's get on to group set. Okay. Because this is something I do love. Where are you going to go with this? Well, I love the new 105, the new 105 disc. Mm -hmm. But... Seeing as we are chasing some hill comms. Are we little, though? Yes. Or are we chasing people to a cake stop in Wiltshire. Oh, fine cake. Um, I'm going to go Ultegra Disc, if Ribble don't mind splashing that kind of cash. Okay. Um, are you going to DI2 it, or are you going to stay with Mechanical? I love DI2, but for the purposes of just riding a Sportive, I think the hood shapes these days are so good with the Mechanical. I think I can get away with Mechanical. That's big I'll of take one That's for the big team. of you, mate. That really I will. is. Yeah. I will. Race on a, a standard chain set, so I'm gonna I'm gonna step down, but it's only gonna be to a 3652. All right. That still gives me with the 1132 cassette that I can choose. That still gives me a very nice climbing gear. So I'll go for that one. And what are you thinking about wheels? Are you fancying something? Uh... Well, let's have a look at some options. Okay. So you could have Ooh. the Axioms that Matt had on his R872. Maybe let's stick to... I said I was going to rein in the price, so let's stick to Mavic and go up to the Siriums. And it bomb proof, I know you ride like yeah. an animal, don't you? So. <laughs> well, I tend to find all of the potholes, so um, yeah. probably a good one. And then I can make them tubeless as well if I want to. So sticking with the kind of wheel area i notice i can customize the tires yeah. in the wall. ultra sport rigids no, no again not special enough you've taken it hard haven't you that when we didn't let you have the glitter yeah yeah i've i've taken that 300 pounds and i want some glamour stuff okay. gp 5000s hello those yeah. would be nice in a 28 on those wheels oh yes or you could have a challenge paris roubaix a bit bigger if you fancy the uh, softer ride I tend to try and avoid cobbles. My lightweight climber's frame doesn't really you agree with about it. bouncing over cobbles. So we'll um, we'll go with the 5000s. Okay. I've never used them. So now's your chance to try them. Yeah. Well, oh, there's some uh, some different bar options. Oh, mm. carbon bars, carbon aero bars. All yes, those incremental please. gains. Yes, All those incremental please. gains. Thank you very much. And as we're there, stem. Well, 
Carbon stem as well. Thank you very much. Carbon wrapped alloy stem. I'll go for that. Yeah, is that worth thirty pounds over a standard alloy stem? Which says you. titanium bolts as well. Okay. So. <laughs> well, that's all right then. Ramping up the value. I mean, come yeah. on. That'll do, I think. Are you good? good? You good to go? I think so. Yeah. What's Have the damage? Look. Ooh. Two thousand nine hundred eighty-nine pounds. I've kept it under three grand. Well, that's look very that. good of you. I'm. So, yeah. Give me eleven pound to spend on your sporty entry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Right. Well, right. click the button. We'll send that off to Ribble, and we'll get it built up for you. Thank you, Ribble. This isn't silverware. This isn't gold. What it is, is plastium. Plastanium. Yeah. yeah, lovely. Did you do 100K or 50K? Wow. It was raining quite a lot. I was wearing all my layers and I was still cold, so we did the 50K. But you got your fair share of cakes, though. Oh, yeah, you? we stopped. Absolutely good. Right, and the bike? I mean, you had a chance to test it in all the conditions, by the yes, looks of things. definitely. Yeah. The bike was a lot better in the rain than I was. It's my first time really riding um, hydraulic discs in the wet, um, you know, away from cyclocross. Mm -hmm. um, and they were really good. Yeah, they just work where you need them to work. And combined with the wide, the, like 30 mil tires that I had and um, the tubeless, it was really nice running. Excellent. Those, good. And the bike setup. itself performed really well? Yeah, it was really um, just compliant, um, still fast. Yeah. Um, but it was good over the broken surfaces, which we have a lot of, even those A roads were pretty broken yeah. up. And did you feel it was fast enough to kind of chuck it at a race or something like that? If you, yeah, if I'd you happily. I'd, I'd change the wheels. If yeah. I was going to race, I'd have a faster set of wheels. But um, yeah, I'd happily, and the flip side of that, I'd happily ride that through the winter with the Ultegra mechanical. And get some mud guards on it. Yeah, there's yeah. space for that. Absolutely, brilliant. So, another Ribble bike build, another win. Yeah. Well, not a win exactly, but you know. So that was our second Ribble bike build. And another success, I think, for you. I would say so, yeah. yeah. Absolutely good. If you've got any questions about the bike, any questions about Liam's uh, 50 well, kilometre ride. There won't be many questions <laughs> on a very long ride. Ask them in the comments below, we'll get them answered for you. Yeah. Remember to like and subscribe and check back here for more of this kind of stuff. Cheers. <laughs>